Hi, this is Russ Anderson. This is a tutorial based on a question asked by a user who wanted to know if he could set up keyboard accelerators for the move, rotate, and scale buttons over here on the 3D panel. And the typical reason you might want to do that is when you have some object that you want to position in the scene. Here we want to park a car in one of these parking spaces, say. And you need to be able to switch back and forth between the tools. So some keyboard accelerators would be handy. Now we can definitely set up keyboard accelerators for those buttons on the 3D panel, but that'll only work if the 3D panel is actually open. It's more useful to do it when the, you know, anytime the viewport is visible, because that's that's really where we want to work. So Synthize gives you multiple different contexts. The camera view is a context. These uh, 3D views are a context. Um, the panels are contexts. And different keys can mean different things in each of those different contexts. Now all of that is controlled via the keyboard manager. So let's go take a look at that. And the first thing to see up at the top is the drop down that selects which context you want to work on and which context you want to set up a key for. Here we want to set it up for the 3D view. And I'll point out immediately that you need to work from the top to the bottom in this panel. First you select the uh, context that you want to be uh, working on, set up any of the uh, shifts and controls, set up which key you want to work on, and then only at the very end do you say what action you want. If you start messing with the action too soon, you're going to be changing whatever key is already displayed up there, and that's, that's going to get you in trouble and not do what you want. So here we're just going to go and we're going to select the W key, and that's going to be our move. Now one thing you might notice is that the 3D move is already listed down here. That's because the last action that you did in the system is stored away just to make it easier to find things within the keyboard manager. So we can just go and say we want to change it to be that 3D move and we're done. Now we can also go back, let's just take a look now at in fact the whole set of uh, actions. Here they are. Um, let's go, we'll, we'll just go it and do it in the context of the E. This is going to be the rotate. So we'll bring it up and here's the entire set of actions that are available within that 3D view context. So if we look around, we see here's the 3D rotate. So we want to select that. So now we've set up that E key to rotate and We'll set up uh, R and that is going to be our scale. Now to be honest, you know, I would just, I would tend to switch them around and make the R be the rotate, but that's just me. Um, you, so you can stick with the Maya conventions if you like, or otherwise maybe just go with the, the W for the move, the uh, R for the rotate, and the E for the scale, if that works better for you. So now we've set up the W, E, and R uh, keys. I'll point out now, you know, let's go look at the panel so we can go look and see what the actions are there, which are the similar sorts of things, but now you see the different things like the check boxes that are on the panel and so on. So these are available when the, that 3D panel is visible. If you want to get the really complete list of all the things that are available and what you have set up, you just click on this listing and now it'll open up in the uh, system text editor and you'll start out seeing first the uh, list of keyboard accelerators by action. So up at the top here, 3D move, here's our W and E and R are listed. And then they're also listed by key so that they're sorted over here. Here's the E. And you see the E key means one thing now in the 3D view, another thing in the camera view. It turns the enable on and off in the camera view, which is a very common one. And then down at the bottom of this list is the whole set of commands that are available in all the different contexts. And that list goes on for a while, as you can see. But that can give you uh, some idea of what you might go looking for if you just want to go and hunt through the list uh, one day and see what looks interesting. So now having done that, 
you can go and just save this away so that uh, you'll have the same settings for next time if you're happy with them. We'll close the panel back up. And now over here in the 3D viewport, you can see my different keyboard accelerators are doing their thing. But over here in the camera view, they do not. Instead, you know, if we were running a tracker out here, you know, we would be using the E still to do the enable, whereas over here, we're still using it to control whether it's a rotate or a scale. So it's a very flexible system that you have in Synthize. It can let you set up the keys that you need to help make life uh, a lot simpler and quicker for you. Thanks.